morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen, this is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review and Forex Review for uh, the 1st of November 2022. Uh, we had no bets yesterday so we can get straight into the uh, the racing today. We've got no filter one which is uh, our structural filter, no ratio but you have an alternate. Um, but uh, a red car on the flat in 305, it's a handicap class 3, 3 yard plus, 0 to 95, 1 mile, 2 1 yard soft, model 92, that's the surface pace profile. Right, so uh, what do we know about that race? Well, one we like here is this number six, uh, Knightswood. It's drawn one. Uh, its previous race uh, was on the 26th of the 10th, uh, 22 at uh, Kempton. Kempton on the all weather, so K12, 12 furlongs. Uh, and that's model 92 as well, so it's an exact match. And if you, uh, if you watch that race uh, on the replay, uh, you'll see, <coughs> well, you see a lot of stuff, but uh, you'll see basically that this horse was sweating. Um, uh, which is a good sign uh, going forward as far as we're concerned and that race actually which was won by um, uh, what was it uh, it was won by Nader uh, so that was uh, Nader uh, now that actually is a very good race uh, on, on our terms so um, uh, and uh, it's dropping down to two furlongs today uh, and that horse uh, was uh, like bang on at about uh, a furlong out. Uh, and given the soft ground, uh, it will all dovetail in. It's drawn one, which is uh, pretty much uh, optimum draw, uh, and uh, it's likely to uh, to uh, sort of dictate and front run and uh, hopefully uh, dominate the race. Now we we've, we've managed to get two pound per eight pound unit on at nine to one for the win. We've also done a bit of a cascade on the each way. Uh, we've done. Uh, a one pound uh, for three places at 1.84 uh, to one, uh, and a pound on four places uh, at uh, 1.04 to one. Obviously, some people won't have the facility to do four places. This is this is bet fair exchanges, um, but you can do uh, you can do it each way. Uh, and so we've got four pound per eight pound unit on uh, giving us 0 0.5 of a unit exposure, half a unit exposure. So we're a uh, hundred times bigger than that. So we've got 400 pounds on in a mixture of um, win and uh, place uh, bets. So uh, that's where we are with that. Um, um, it, looks, uh, it looks pretty promising. Um, the win odds are likely to shorten. The uh, over round is about 105%. So uh, uh, something's, uh, something's got to go out and something's going to come in a bit. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's what we've done. So uh, right, on the Forex front, uh, as I said, this is a very uh, uh, foreign currency, uh, very busy week. Uh, if you look at the uh, bond market overnight, you can see they're dirging around uh, on the Bund and the, uh, and the US 10-year. Uh, what else have we got? Um, uh, we've just had uh, Royal Bank of Australia uh, basically put in 25 basis points uh, interest rate rise. Pretty limp interest rate rise uh, on the uh, Australian dollar, really. Uh, on 1400 uh, GMT, we've got US uh, ISM uh, manufacturing PMIs. Now that's going to be uh, a nice little potential um, data bounce order for us. So if you look at the dollar pairs, uh, so the seven times dollar pairs, uh, the euro, uh, the, uh, the dollar soft against the euro uh, is soft against the yen. Uh, and it's uh, soft against the pound uh, and likewise against the CAD uh, and the Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar uh, and, uh, and the Swiss. So the dollar's, dollar's soft across the board. Uh, the dollar index is about minus 0.41% uh, at the moment. Um, but that is a good opportunity because we're going to be looking to stick uh, a buy order in. Uh, so a buy order on, on, on a suitable dollar pair. Um, we may not got a chance to uh, to give you the heads up on which pair we're using, but if you look at the dollar pairs, the seven dollar pairs, you'll see um, you'll see the ones that have been uh, moved uh, at the moment. Um, uh, the CAD, the dollar CAD, uh, has got potential, uh, uh, but it could change. So uh, any of those pairs are, have potential for um, a dollar dollar bounce off the back of this um, uh, ISM. Uh, manufacturing print. So um, 
the likelihood is the Fed isn't going to pivot. Uh, so all this is uh, is posturing in the wrong direction. Uh, a weaker dollar is uh, is posturing in the wrong direction as far as we're concerned. So you're likely to get a catch up. And tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, you've got the Fed uh, rates decision and subsequent FOMC minutes. So uh, you might get a short window of dollar weakness, uh, which ho which is likely to end with this uh, with this data at uh, two o'clock this afternoon. So uh, we're looking at a, a pump uh, on the dollar, and we're going to put a buy order in on uh, one of the most suitable dollar pairs. So that's what we're doing um, uh, on the forex front, uh, and on on the horse racing. Just to recap, then we're. We're in uh, red car 305 and we've done a sort of a cascade each way on number six, uh, Knightswood, uh, which is, uh, uh, there's eight runners in that race and uh, it looks pretty good to us anyway. We'll, we'll see how we go. So uh, anyway, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching and goodbye.